distance myself from that. Um, I did not win the Commonwealth Writers' Prize. I was in the jury that year. And uh, Essential Tagore is a book which I co-authored. Harvard University Press published it with Radha Chakraborty, who, who at that time was the University of Delhi. And it's a very big uh, volume that came out during the Sesame Center days. Also, uh, I was not supposed to chair the session, as you will see. Appa was, Selena Hussain was, she uh, requested me to start, so that's why I'm here. Nevertheless, it was a pleasure to listen to them and uh, take advantage of this to address you all. Uh, I, uh, a lot of my time as a teacher, uh, I've talked for many years now, uh, over for three years now, uh, I've taught fiction and my work has been also on fiction. And uh, listening to uh, Mr. Agarwal and uh, Selena Pa, I've known her work for a long time. Uh, this is what you realize about fiction and also about great literature. Uh, great literature to me must always have the quality of timelessness. And I also say, think at the same time that it must be of its time. So it's only when a great work of art transcends its time, becomes universal, uh, and that that when a work of art speaks to us again and again and again, uh, that is when the work becomes valuable. But at the same time, a great work of art, especially fiction, reflects reality, reflects the world. Uh, uh, what he was saying, what Mr. Agarwal was saying, uh, seems to be so important that he, he was talking about how, uh, while it is important to recall the pastness of the past, uh, but that one must not be anachronistic, and of course one must not, uh, you know, manipulate or use uh, history from a perverse sense of uh, furthering some cause at this point or the other, especially for political other reasons. Uh, so it is our respect for fiction as something which records reality for all times, which speaks to us in our present. That is important. Fiction is a reflection of reality which is able to uh, pass across space and time. Padanabhati this seems to be a very excellent example of an epic which has traveled uh, across India and it therefore, uh, and across languages through translation and which therefore has uh, more than ordinary relevance. And at this time to have that uh, presented to us again is important without uh, manipulating it for our ends. And uh, uh, now I, I can't switch to something else now. Uh, her novel is, as you will have realized today from the morning also, uh, for us in Bangladesh, 1971 is the <coughs> all important uh, event. And the trauma of 1971 continues. And, con and uh, rediscovering 1971, all the aspects of it, and its lingering presence now is what makes uh, Appa go back to uh, uh, 1971 for her fiction. She has done it in other works. Uh, she's written a number of important works surrounding, uh, em not surrounding, but emanating from 1971. And this is uh, another one. And of course, another great theme of fiction is Who Am I? In other words, the process of self discovery. And as the through, through <coughs> the self discovery of the protagonist, I think that every reader rediscovers himself or herself, and that is, I think, the great power of fiction. And with those words, I'd like to end. Thank you all very much.